Taurus, welcome to your sunset read here in the urban uh, jungles of Cancun, Mexico. <laughs> um, this is the heart spread read for the end of November. This will read the person that's on your mind, the person that's in your heart. And um, we'll look at you and your person here, kind of like first house, seventh house as an astrologer. Seventh house, uh, what you may want in terms of romance and project to your anima or animus onto that house and um, that'll be the number two card and then sinistry I'm just kind of looking at how you're interacting together I try to get some advice from spirit I think it's very important why I think with eight cards we could get a lot um, in for each of you relating to each other and then for the relationship as a whole advice and an outcome and um, it's to the heart of the matter okay I did already did a reading, it <laughs> did work, <laughs> that's part of the game, so shuffle, it's been a while, and we're doing this right at sunset, <laughs> uh, but always, uh, Mondays is Aries and Taurus day, damn it, <laughs> uh, sometime, I'll get this out by evening, so wow, so you're coming in with five of wands here, Taurus, um, and this is your energy in around love and relationships right now, it's, um, I guess in a way fortunately I wouldn't see it necessarily here attached to this person you're thinking of this is kind of your energy you're carrying from the past mm -hmm. um, you may have had to actively like defend yourself um, if not um, uh, verbal abuse and having to kind of meet that uh, being a very unpleasant situation like I'm a Sag uh, in a way, I'm with simpatico a lot with uh, Libra have similar energy with Taurus, I think. One of the main things, uh, you really don't want to fight, you know, especially with your love or, you know, uh, Taurus's Venus is a plan of love. So, um, the only thing with this, uh, it could be with it, uh, a little bit of a feeling of, um, um, being an overly defensive, maybe, I mean, because it's, it's okay to be defensive, uh, but this is kind of like a chip on your shoulder a little bit, overly defensive. I always see the five of wands as kind of more like a bickering kind of energy, um, but it's, it's, it's kind of also like a, at the beginning of a relationship, but kind of picking at little things and uh, instead of being grateful and saying, wow, what a cool person. Uh, so it's so much fun and or else to say goodbye I don't know and get into it you're kind of like finding fault with them you know here Taurus possibly I shouldn't say maybe you are but that would be the danger with that energy that you would just somehow carry it into this relationship yeah and so and I think now this is where they're coming from now whether they're, they're in three party with you now um, I'm not exactly sure, but that's what they, was happening before. So it may have been as they meet you, you are a lover for them, um, or they are a lover for you. And I always do see this energy mostly as the past. So arguing and bickering with your um, husband, wife, with your partner here it could be and you know arguing and bickering doesn't draw you closer it's not very venus like um it'll wear a taurus down over time and take all the love out of uh, something and taurus is gonna love hard and long typically now we got cancer energy this is the way you're reacting to them you're really um yearning for them i believe with this energy You feel like you uh, found something. Um, you're willing to uh, nurture it. Um, this is feeling that, that it's kind of high vibrational. This is some feeling that this relationship, this person, um, appeals to you. It makes you feel connected. I always think of this being like your soul's path, your true destiny, stepping into um, the soul work, you know. Um, and you're attaching that to this person now let's see how they're relating to you here queen of wands 
gosh. Um, let's see here. How we go? I say gosh because it's like uh, uh, to go from the three of cups. I look at that progression too. This is their progression, kind of where they were at. And now with you, they're the uh, Queen of Wands. Well, this is fooled around, fell in love. Um, this is a very strong uh, reaction to you. Probably something fast. Very fire sign energy. Fire Venus, fire Mars, both maybe. Mm -hmm. And um, I believe here the chariot shows a real desire too. It's Cancer energy. Could be, speak to that in your chart. Got Cancer Moon. Uh, it's wanting someone in that from the solar plexus. It's really strong. Um, and it's an energy of wanting to go to them. You know? Um, and you may find yourself literally going to them, driving to them, flying to them. Whatever it is, you know. Um, but this person, you know, honestly, I'm not saying they're wrong for you here, a Taurus, but I got the feeling they got, it's got like player vibes, you know. Um, but maybe that's cool too, you know. Yeah, I'm not tight about it, but or maybe that's you know, eventually don't players uh, fall in love. I wouldn't know, right? <laughs> I wouldn't know. Uh, I fell in love though eventually, I'll tell you that. The Emperor, now this is your advice from Spirit. And uh, that comes up showing you advice that's best for how to interact in this relationship with this person. And I think this is pretty strong. And coming with you with the Five of Wands, um, you know, this can you know, be too a little bit too aggressive. Uh, a little really too defensive but very strong boundaries it's coming as a suggestion from spirit so it's saying it's the right thing to do it's kind of like look you've got the chariot over the emperor here so forget about, forget about them for a minute uh taurus um and that's some really strong major arcana um it all co it's some kind of feeling of this alignment I get with your uh, self here and um, I gotta think with as advice from spirit it's kind of for you to take control or you to get control you to uh, channel male or female channel the fire in your loins channel the courage Leo energy and uh, uh, be very strong you know uh, in yourself you know um, kind of fearless energy here for you let's see if their advice is for you guys Sagittarius energy be that so could be a Sag person involved here Taurus Sun Moon Rising or Venus think that and this is their advice from spirit This, uh, maybe this sounds hokey. Um, temperance uh, is a balance because it sees everything as being okay and everything's just flowing and there's no problem, so there's nothing to worry about. You know, there's uh, nothing like that. Um, and this is advice from spirit. And this is kind of like for your person here, this fire person who's maybe moving fast, who's been involved in multiple emotional uh, interactions, let's say, whether it was recently with an ex and you, if you were part of the third party, be, it, it's almost, I gotta say, like if you're not part of the third party, then like you're like the fourth party. I'm just gonna say it like that. <laughs> so, mm. it's just Jamaica, or Stevie, but oh. I get the fresh dried leaves here and boil them. So, like it so far, it's a lot of maturity here. 
Um, and this really could be a, a person tempering their blade, tempering their fire here. This is what uh, Spirit's encouraging. Now, that doesn't mean a person would do it. It's just saying if they were watching the reading, if they were to you know, share it with them, or, you know, that was if their interest was in the relationship, Spirit would say, here's the way uh, to deal with your Taurus best. And, you know, that's to be grateful for what you have and in the groove and doing what you need to do, not worrying about what you don't have or what you didn't do or didn't have, um, and rolling. That's the Sag energy, big Sag. That's us at our best. That's, a, you know, we're, we're not complainers. It's like, whatever. A lot of stuff's going wrong all the time. We were like, oh, we're so, come on, let's go. Nobody's dead. Let's keep rolling. All right. And this is for the relationship as a whole. Now, I consider this very important. It's the crux of the heart spread. This is advice from spirit for the relationship as a whole. And that is a knockdown, drag out, sit down. Uh, basically like a fight you know and I'll be honest with you it's probably around the third party stuff for them but you know you got to this is your reading okay you came in ready for this fight you had your sleeves rolled up when you walked in the door of this relationship and you were ready and they really caught you up though I mean uh, majorly it's probably a tremendous passion here Taurus um, you feel very drawn to them. You may feel like they're a soulmate, something like that, you know, but there's something needs to be settled between you guys. I think of the old Gary Cooper movie. Guys, talk about a classic. High noon. You guys got to have your high noon. I can tell you. I mean, it's not a sexy outcome, but it's a solid outcome. Two of Pentacles, guys. It's a solid outcome for Taurus. I think it's everything's kind of rolling your way. And it's absolutely necessary for your person. So after this talk, which is not going to be easy, it's going to be very direct, and it may involve some, you know, hanky-panky or whatever um, here, um, you guys would come together in a relationship with the two of pentacles I always say in general it's just being doing what you need to do getting up exercising going to work getting things done taking care of your bills and your body and your groceries and your children if necessary and your pets and your house and yourself and um it's a pretty good energy to be in um so like i say not a real sexy outcome but it must be what's necessary, you know, it's a very grounded outcome. But it's both of you, after this hard discussion, coming together and um, really um, wanting to have a grounded, uh, you know, I want to call it adult relationship. <laughs> so, thank you guys. Uh, I hope that resonates. This gives, uh, if you can, give me a like, uh, you know, tell a friend, tell a friend, and do subscribe if you have it, and you know, Click the bell. Thank you, guys.